Hello my friends, welcome back to The Pocket, it's episode 11. We got a little bit of cleaning up to do. I haven't seen any more fighters, enemy fighters around, so... I'm gonna hazard to suggest that they're done. So, back to the interesting battle going on here. This guy came and decided he wanted a slice of my tiger. Man, the heavy artillery is now able to get some very severe damage. Worth it. Overruns for my tiger. Oh no, it's actually done. I think I've got one more unit that is not... Oh yeah, I know which one it is. <laughs> I have one unit that hasn't got steamroll and it's actually that one up there. I kind of want to strap on that. To do that, I need that anti-aircraft gun, either dead or crippled. Twelve damage, wow. The recon car would uh, put incredible hurt on them. careful about these guys sneaking in behind me as well. Oh, just out of range of my air support. <laughs> okay. I gotta, I gotta do something to them. I can't just have them waddling in behind my lines. I'd love to get in here and dive on this, but that feels a bit risky. Tiger to auto repair instead of doing any real work with it. This bunker is just really ruining my day. I 
I don't know if you can get in there and get back out. It'd be nice to just dive in there and hit that and then get back out again, but I don't think that's something I can do. I think the ground state is still bad. Can't go here because of this bunker. Would do horrible. Would be, would do life-altering damage to me. I could go there and then move this in behind. I think it just, yeah, I think it just about reaches. No, it doesn't. Never mind. put this here no this is uh Until we do something about this bunker, we ain't going anywhere. swap the position of these two. That would be helpful. No! It doesn't do enough damage. I should have moved the other tank in. Nope, that one doesn't do enough damage either. It's doing that thing where the enemy holds out above its weight when it's uh, only got one HP left. Alright, the quadruplo has gained a star. I think I just leave the tiger here. It will self-repair. It's, it's got some protection. Its main protection is the fact that it's armoured like a, you know, <laughs> armoured like a tank. It is a tank, but yeah, its uh, its armour is very heavy. It has all the armour necessary to hold out. Oh, another one trying to cross. Looks like some extra units spawned in. They're not where my air, my anti-air can get to them though. I love these guys attacking that tiger and being like, nope, pink, pink, plonk.
Oof. Oof. Man, he did not even penetrate the armor. even scratch it. Alright, I'll have to reposition my fires now. Because apparently there's a couple of new guys over here. Definitely not in range. I'll send a couple of fires over here. Yeah, it looks like this Jeep is trying to uh, cross the river there. I certainly, I could destroy it entirely, but I mean... We'll just leave it for now. I'll deal with it next turn. Make a quick repair. Okay, this this is nothing exciting going on here. I mean, that jeep cannot possibly remove the uh, recon bike that I left there. And it probably wouldn't have time to destroy that airfield either. with this bloody bunker. Okay. Alright, with the bunker removed, the juicy exposed enemy is made available for sweet EXP farming. You notice here as well, we got reduced to 9,500 prestige thanks to that special event. And we're, we're already back up to 10,000. So... Even without capturing, we're being efficient. Thank you. boys we bring to the party and where do we put it? That is the new question. Okay, let's fall this tank back for now because it's taken some severe damage. There's a road there, you see, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to calculate the hits. Well, 
while I'm busy farming Soviet tears. Also, I have to remember, it doesn't have a lot of, uh... Ah, uh, you won't get back out. I don't think. Six movement, right? Six movement, plus Blitzkrieg. One, two, three, four, five. Might get back out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe. It would involve some rejigging. Okay, this can go here and this can go here because any attack made against this artillery is going to result in retaliation from this and any attack against this is going to result in retaliation from this and this. They might get some damage but it will be quite the trade. In fact, if I pull this back and put this in instead, then it's even better. The old 15 centimeters there. I'd love to just dive in there and, and go go ham, but I think that's uh, a bad idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think he can get back out. That's the problem. Maybe if he was here. Ah, man, my poor strat bombers, man. I thought this would be the opportunity to get them some action, but it's actually not turned out that way. It's not turned out that way! I just couldn't... I couldn't get that super anti-aircraft gun without unduly risking something. Ouch! Why would you do that? <laughs> Suicidal death pushes across rivers and through swamps. Just getting hosed down. That's brutal. <laughs> Yeah, they don't want to attack. It's too much. There's too much artillery that's supporting other artillery. It's layers of defense. Oh, this plane is desperately trying to get itself killed. That's the second time it's flown to that airport to get ambushed by a plane that wasn't there before. I could totally lose the bonus objective because of that plane. There's not much I can do to prevent it from ambushing itself.
If I lose the bonus objective because this plane keeps on suiciding itself into uh, into enemy fighters that have just spawned in, I'm going to be really annoyed because that is that is quite degenerate. Right, anyway, that's that little counterattack dealt with. We're gonna have to just escort this plane everywhere all the time for as much as we can. I may even have to just constantly place one of my own fighters in this airport to stop it ambushing itself there. Man, that poor infantry. Well, there's some experience for our boys. This is the uh, this is the new one as well. This is the old one that has uh, been with us since the Spanish Civil War. And has killed <laughs> 1,800 infantry. Man, that's crazy to think about. Let's go ahead and put the hurt on that KV. Sweet, this is my opportunity to get in, do some damage, and get out. To our friend, the anti aircraft gun. Down to eight strength, just like that. Nice, nice. Unleash the strat bombers. Ah, damn it. Should have known there was another one. Oh well, whatever. This tank is slightly exposed now, but I mean... It's a good and proper tank, so... I suppose there's an opportunity here to get some infantry kills as well. Those of you who are familiar with my style will probably already be uh, seeing what is going to happen next. Ah, oh, it's not going to because he can't move. He's actually out of movement points. I was going to move him to there and then put the artillery in the middle, but that is not going to happen. But it also kind of doesn't need to. We just move this here. Here, and move this here, and move this here. And we unpack this. And everything now is well defended apart from this tank. We should be fine.
Okay. Ouch. EXP! Give me that EXP! Oh wow, this artillery is coming across. Nice. I mean, this is worth it. All these little chip damage is fine for all the experience I'm getting, especially when I'm mostly killing tanks. Oof, oof. When you're killing tanks and infantry, of course, you're, you're powering up these units for the future. Not just in terms of EXP, but also in terms of... Uh, Okay, that's mission objective complete. Just, not just in terms of EXP, but in terms of awards. I don't know whose bright idea it was to send this anti-aircraft gun across the river, but... Anyway. Now there's an opportunity here for my tiger to get some more kills. We could make that guy surrender if we could surround him. Unfortunately, the bunkers really prevent the maneuverability I need to actually surround enemies. This guy has chosen his positioning poorly. You have chosen poorly. slam that artillery so it doesn't do anything. Okay, we can definitely get back out. It's a lot of free kills here. Okay, 10 out of 10 entrenchment. That's why we can't touch that. Ah, damn it, he did one damage. Oh well, whatever, it will repair next time I deploy it. As long as I just remember not to repair it during deployment. That kind of annoyingly means that I have to uh, manually repair everything next turn. Guess I found another anti aircraft gun.
Okay, we supplied the pocket. Just watch the one with five health now go to an airport somewhere and get suicided. It's too late, they already gave me the commendation point. Oh yeah, look, it really did fly to another uh, air uh, to another airport. It appears we can done all we have done all that we can, mine general. From all the high-ranking dismissals we've seen so far, you just know that High Command is furious. But our efforts have preserved our fighting force and saved the lives of many thousands of our fellow soldiers, and that would just have to be enough. As it is, we're probably nearing the end of our tether, so a rotation off the front line would be a welcome respite. Historically, the operation to supply thousands of Germans trapped at Demyansk by air was a success. Hundreds of tons of supplies were flown in each day. It was enough to keep the soldiers in fighting condition until a breakout was eventually made. <clears throat> but the triumph of the airlift operation at Demyansk convinced some that any encircled position could be continually supplied by aircraft. <clears throat> this strategy would greatly accelerate the rate at which both the Wehrmacht and the Ludwaffe would bleed equipment and personnel on the Eastern Front. Alright. Your forces are rotating off the Eastern Front for rest and refit. During this period, an opportunity to train new soldiers and access new equipment will be made available. Before that, Ludwaffe General Alf Galland who we should have let go a long time ago, but is still on our command. <laughs> Undertaking a secret operation has requested assistance. Special close air support operation in France requires aircraft to the total exclusion of ground forces. Let's go. Vive la France! Another mission, another opportunity to get supplies. After all, when you're playing with limited supply, every mission is, you know, more units. When you think about it. You may think that some of the side missions are maybe just an opportunity to wear you down, but actually, on this mode, it could possibly be a chance to gain more supplies. An air-only mission could be interesting. I have a fair few zero-slot heroes as well, so I could probably deploy a lot more aircraft than would be expected. There he is! Thank you for coming to my aid. Our fleet has seen limited action during the last few months. Is that you, Stefan? You've changed so much since our time in Spain. They won't even let me back into the cockpit anymore. Our war against Britain rages on, and naval supremacy, supremacy continues to put us on the back foot. <laughs> the Bismarck never died in my campaign. <laughs> I managed to save it. Escort these guys through the channel, sink the Royal Navy home fleet. Bonus objective, sink 20 ships. Our best squadron commodores and leaders who would have become our group commanders for years to come all died during the Battle of Britain. These losses plus enormous demands I think that's enormous is spelt correctly there, but anyway. The enormous demands of the Luwafa for the Eastern Front. You won't have direct communication with any of the ships. It would be too much to risk such communications being intercepted by the enemy.
before you go, I have gifts for you. Mobile airfields. Also prototypes of a brand new fighter. The FW-190. Okay. Limited deployment it is. Hey, we can probably get some more BF-109s. Authorize. What is this? <laughs> what a horrible, what a horrible hero this is. I just can't get a break with my heroes. They're all absolutely terrible. Right, anyway. This is uh, tasks for a deployment episode. Things to think about on a deployment episode, but uh, yeah, it's um, I I just I have so few decent heroes that you can actually start with a pre-made core and probably actually have more better heroes than I've got. Okay. How much better are you? Ah, solidly, sol yeah, pretty solid actually. But high slot cost. Decently high slot cost. With 30, no ability to repair them either. No ability to repair them. Okay, that's it for now. I need to think about deployment. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.